This is Hollywood. The Ivar Theater is located at 1605 uh, Ivar Avenue between Sunset Boulevard and Hollywood Boulevard. It opened February 5th, 1951 as a legitimate theater with a production of the Barrett's of Wimpole Street. The Ivar was a project of a restaurant owner, E-G-I-S-H-E-Gishi Harout. He had earlier opened her out as a restaurant at 1605 Ivar and just ended the theater on the front. In the 60s, the restaurant behind the theater was called the Backstage. Joe Byron of the Los Angeles Film School mentions that they now refer to the space at the Brick Box when it was a comedy club. Lenny Bruce and George Carlin performed there. Ken Rowe and Ken McIntyre note on Cinema Treasures that it is later morphing into the club named The Seavers of Paris. In 1977, it was a gay bar called Gaslight. In 96, it was renamed the Opium Den. It was also been used as a green room and reception area for the theater. It see, at one time, it seated over 400 and included a small balcony. It was redone in 2002. It ended up uh, with a capacity of 284. Uh, the stage facilities in the orchestra, the house is still hemp system fly capacity. Movies over the years at the IBAR, but it's usually been a legit playhouse. Joan of Lorraine was Louise Renoir, was the second production in 1951. The Mad Woman at Callout was Alphine Mac McMahon was later offering the inaugural season. Tennessee Williams played Garden District, ran in 1958. Lord Buckley appeared in 1959. In the early 60s, a venue was operated by Zev Buffman and Stan Sedman. One of the offerings in 1960 was a review. Venture 60 was Barbara Haler, Faye DeWitt, and Jack Albertson, Elsa Lancaster, Second City, were among the attractions. In 1961, it was Jerome Lawrence and Robert E. Lee play Only in America in the first post-Broadway run. Intermission.